So we ended up deciding to try something new, which is kind of really cool, and um, using a combination of three things: um, Wirecast, the desktop presenter for Wirecast and using a virtual machine we were able to come up if you're familiar with Leo Laporte's stream and Skype and how he has people on his stream he has a Skype Asaurus but well, we came up with our own version of a Skype Asaurus but we call it the virtual Mackensaurus which is it, it's really cool because it works similar and the same as Leo Laporte's Skype Asaurus works I'm gonna show you right here um, Right now we have Harrisman is right here, and uh, Hello. and <laughs> hey, and then we have Scoots, who's right here, and what's up, Scoots? How's it going? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Scoots and Harrisman are in Skype, and here I am, right here. So I have Scoots and Harrisman right here. That's pretty cool. I'm going to show you here a screenshot of my desktop. Right here is uh, the virtual machine. You can see we have uh, Harrisman's here. Then I go to number three, and we have Scoots here. And this is all running on the on my i7 computer using uh, VMware Workstation. And they're right now talking to me through Vent, and the video is going through Skype because Vent has slightly higher quality than Skype. <clears throat> so I go over to um, Haversman here. You can see he's on Skype, and uh, I do exit full screen. See, this is basically what it looks like. And the same with Scoots. I go over to his virtual machine or the one he's running in. And there it is, and I, I know I have backgrounds here to help me identify that because they're they're basically cloned operating systems. Um, Scoots is there. Harrisman is here, and you can have pretty much as many as you want. Right now we got four we got four set up, but only two active right now. So we have Scoots here, and that's basically what it is. So if I come out to here. What it is, is it's just basically a full screen shot, if I take Scoots, full screen him, Harrisman, and full screen him. And now, we can, we can basically have our own uh, virtual skype -asaurus using virtual machines on the computer with the desktop presenter for Wirecast in each virtual machine to go right to Wirecast and it's pretty great like there's so many different things like there's no end to what you can do with Wirecast this is just another thing so you know Leo Laporte has his TriCaster and stuff and how he has it connected directly to it well we use a desktop presenter which is over the network and to, to push it to Wirecast yeah. and um, like there's other things we can do like like I can have Harrisman next to me and um, things like that there's so many different things I can do have the titles and everything and um, this is using combination of uh, VMware with virtual machines of Windows XP and Skype on each one, the desktop presenter for Wirecast and Wirecast itself. And um, there, there you have it. There is your virtual Skype Asaurus. And uh, it's basically all of the virtual machines are set up to have. They have their own IP and their own computer name. And all Wirecast does on the Wirecast machine is point to that IP of each of the computers. And I have it open. And you're seeing what you're seeing right here. Um, obviously, I'm I'm quite boring because Harrisman seems to be falling asleep on me. Anyways, nonetheless. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, so we can have our own Leo Laporte-like show with the Skype Masaurus. And there's so many other things that you can do, too. I mean, when you have uh, the desktop presenter and, and things like that, and a whole bunch of different combinations added with Wirecast, you have awesome things. So this is what it is, and it, I just have it on here. I can pretty much um, move it around. I can minimize it 
because this is running in a virtual machine and it's still going to work on here because it's inside the virtual machine. So there you have it. There's your own way using Wirecast and Desktop Presenter to make your own Skyposaurus, the virtual Skyposaurus. That's pretty, that's, I think that's pretty cool. If you have any questions, you can email us at questions at macintech.net. Check out our website at macintech.net and our live page at live.macintech.net. And if you happen to enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash macintech. And we'll chat at you later.